What's up, Cherry Blossom family? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi! My name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and I'm so happy that you are back for another installment of What's New. What's New is a series over here on the channel where we talk about all things new in Disney merchandise specifically. Today we're going to be talking about the Loungefly August 2021 pre-order. So the pre-orders go on sale right now. The second this video goes up, pre-sales will be live. And what that means is that if you order it tonight, that means that the August pre-order will be shipped sometime in the August time frame. And I've done several of these videos over the last few months. So if you're interested in seeing more what's new videos of previous Loungefly releases and other things, I'm going to link that playlist down below. Also, another thing that I always do with these videos is I link a bunch of different small shops that I love working with who are reputable sources for you to obtain these bags and I link them down in the description box down below. So everything will link, be linked down below based off of the order that it is in the video. So, you, so depending on where you are in the video, that's where you will find the link below. Another thing, this backdrop is from Golden Afternoon Backdrops. I will also link them down below. It's one of my favorite Disney small shops. They do an amazing job in backdrops and also I'm wearing my lounge flight ears from last year. This is the ghost lounge fly ears that came out last year that are so cute and oh my gosh they glow so so brightly. So if you're looking for a bag that is Ghost Mickey from the release last year they're being re-released with my friends over at Jalugo and I will also link that down below because that bag is so amazing for Halloween and yes all the Halloween themed guys because spoiler alert We've got a lot of Halloween bags that we're gonna go over today, so why don't we just go ahead and get started? Let's see what's new. So this pop bag is the Pop by Loungefly Disney Princess Circles Crossbody. Now these bags are such a beautiful style. They have a flap that goes over the top that has a really pretty golden crown. Uh, the crossbody strap is um, actually uh, detachable, which is really nice. And what you'll notice here is these pop figurines actually match the pops that recently came out with the princesses and their sidekick characters. So you'll notice like Ariel's with Flounder and Sebastian and Belle is with Cogsworth and Lumi Air. It's a really cute, um, I, I think it's a really cute version of them. I'm not the biggest fan of pops that feature people. So this bag not isn't necessarily for me. Do you like pops that are in people form? For some reason, they're just not my favorite. Um, I prefer the animal form of pops. That's kind of how I roll. The lining actually has the pop logo and then it has all of the sidekicks on the inside, which is kind of a cool element. And then there is also a matching wallet. So this wallet is horizontal style. It is, uh, it looks pretty long. I really do like that they have the sidekick lining inside of this as well. And it does have gold hardware. And and then the next item from this collection is this really fun Disney Princess Circles mini backpack. And so it has all of the princesses featured on the front pocket. So it looks like it is a flat front pocket. And there are debossed elements in this bag. So I'm assuming these little stars that you see on the front of this bag are actually debossed. And then it's got a really cool castle in the middle of all of the princesses, which I think is a really neat touch. It's got that same lighting with all of the sidekicks. Such an adorable bag. And that is actually all of the pop bags for this release in August. So we're gonna move on to Disney bags. Part of the castle collection is now Ariel, my favorite princess of all time. This whole collection is going to be ordered by me tonight. So we're gonna start with the mini backpacks. So the mini backpacks that we've seen in the past, which have been Jasmine and Cinderella, what we've seen from them in real life is they are so vibrant. Like the colorations of these bags are absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with the elements of this bag. It's a faux leather mini bag. Backpack. It has applique, foil, and embroidered details on it. So at the very top of the front of the bag, you have Eric's castle, and then a scuttle is flying in the sunset, which is so pretty. And then the bottom half of the bag is under the sea. Love that. It's got Flounder, Sebastian, and also Daddy Triton's castle. Hashtag daddy though. <laughs> and then on the back of the bag, what you see is 
Eric and Ariel in a silver dress at the end of the film and Eric is lifting her up out of the water after King Triton train changes her into a human. Oh, this bag is chef's kiss. Purple is my favorite color. Little Mermaid is my favorite movie. This cannot get any better. The lining is flounder, Sebastian, and also some seaweed, which is super cute. And the lining is purple, which is even better. The crossbody bag is so gorgeous. One side is going to be King Triton's castle. The other side is going to be Prince Eric's castle. And then there is a flounder detail on the bag. It almost looks like he might be a charm. I can't really tell, but it looks like he's a little bit raised off of the bag. So it'll be interesting to see uh, wh what actually is happening with flounder on this bag. The crossbody straps do come off, so they are uh, detachable. And then also the wallet only features Prince Eric's castle. It's like a horizontal smaller card holder. And the little identification holder has a cutout of a seashell, which I thought was such a cute detail. And on the back side of the wallet is that image of Eric and Ariel on the beach. Now this is all gold hardware. Such a beautiful bag. Which of the castle collection is your favorite or is there any that you are anticipating? Because we have another one that's kind of in this same style and I'm not sure if it's considered as part of the castle collection, but I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. Oh, we're moving on already to Halloween, my friend. So this next bag is the first Halloween bag that we're gonna show, but guys, Boo Bash is coming to Magic Kingdom in Florida. Also, I'm really hoping that we're gonna hear about Oogie Boogie Bash in Disneyland. Hopefully we might get a party there. So are you guys going to Boo Bash? I'm going twice. <laughs> double the bags. So first of all, let's talk about this stunning pumpkin bag. So we have a whole line of pumpkin bags. So adorable. So this is the Disney Mickey O'Lantern mini backpack. What a flipping cute name. So it is faux leather. It has applique quilted and glow in the dark details. So I'm assuming his facial features are glow in the dark, possibly also on the all over print as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. And the front pocket is that is that Mickey head. So it's going to be like an arched or maybe a circular pocket on the front, which is really fun. It does kind of look like it has side pockets, fingers crossed. And then the lining of this bag is actually orange and it has bats and it has a really cool spider web and Mickey head and also a jack-o'-lantern Mickey. So cute. And then there is is a wallet that goes along with this. It's very similar to the Little Mermaid wallet that we just saw. Small card holder that is a um, vertical style so you can place your bills vertically inside of it and the identification uh, cut out is a Mickey head, which I think is so adorable. And this is a featured in the all over print. And in the details of this, it actually does say glow in the dark. So I think it's safe for us to assume that all of those little facial features that you see on all of the little Mickey jack-o'-lanterns or Mickey o'-lanterns are going to be glow in the dark. Now this also comes with a really cool three dimensional Mickey o'-lantern crossbody bag. So cool. So this is a circular bag, which is super fun. Faux leather crossbody details, applique and quilted details, and also glow in the dark details. So it is a circular bag and it's going to zip all the way around so the top of his head comes off like a Mickey O'Lantern. What a cool bag. I love that it's three dimensional. It's gonna be so fun. I mean, this bag is definitely like an Instagram worthy bag, one that you'll be able to take pictures with, bring with you to the parks, maybe to a really fun, Halloween party. We're going to have Halloween parties this year, right? <laughs> oh, love, love, love that design. Well done, Loungefly. What a cool design. And then next from this Mickey pumpkin line, we also have a Mickey O'Lantern ears. I'm assuming they're going to be very similar to this size. And it's got the Mickey O'Lanterns and then it's got a really pretty black bow in the center. And it also glows in the dark. What a super fun first Halloween release. I'm loving this. Now we're gonna move on to a villain's bag. Now, a few months back, this design came out that was very, very similar, except it was princess themed. Well, now we have the villain's counterparts. 
Villains Books Crossbody Style Bag. And what I love about this is there are so many different villains that are represented in this bag. There are just a few, for example, Cruella, Hades, Ursula, Jafar, Queen of Hearts, Prince John, uh, Chernabog, Maleficent, Captain Hook. I mean, just a ton, Hades. And what's really fun is each, oh, Yzma is in there too. And the Evil Queen. Oh my gosh, I love this. What's so cool about this is there are tons of different emblems and also different sidekick characters that are also kind of hidden inside these bookshelves. So you've got Pain and Panic, you've got Flotsam and Jetsam, you've got Diablo, which is Maleficent's crow, uh, you have the extract of Llama for Yzma. It's so many cool details in this bag. I also love that they included Prince John and also Chernabog, such unique characters. Love the details in this bag. Here's the crossbody version of this bag. It's definitely a little bit of a different style than what we saw with the princess bag, but I do think it's really neat. The crossbody bag that has a flap and it's got a zipper on the front and there's a little front pocket on the flap and there is a zipper pull that I believe says happily never after. <laughs> got a handbag handle and then also it's got a really pretty chain that is the crossbody it doesn't show if the crossbody is detachable the crossbody strap is detachable so I'm not 100% sure of that the lining is really fun the lining is all different types of sayings and things that you that villains would say and it's got a matching small zip wallet of the same all over print and also the same lining. And then inside it has an emblem of a stack of books. Also with this, we are going to be getting a mini backpack, which is so adorable. The thing that I love about it is the zipper pull is got a book that's open. And I can't really tell from the details of the picture that I have, but it does have some sort of adornment on the front of the book. I love that this has silver hardware. Silver hardware is my favorite hardware out of any Loungefly bag. And so I love that it's represented here. Such a cute bag. Next, we are gonna be moving on to another Villains bag. I know that you guys are gonna love this one. This one is the Villains Scene Backpack, and this is Hades Mini Backpack. It's faux leather, it's got glitter applique, embroidered and printed details, and glitter and enamel zipper charms. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what is glitter. I mean, maybe we can see. Oh, my cat Telly wanted to join us. So this Hades bag, his hair looks like it's glitter. Also the background behind him looks glitter. He looks so menacing. And then also the front pocket is so neat. It's got a Hydra and um, he's got his sword drawn and what a cool image as well on the front of that bag. I just love these villain scene bags. They're so, so pretty. Also the backpack straps that connect to the back of the bag have really cool blue flames on them, which is super fun. And then the zipper pull is pain and panic, which I think is such a fun detail. Inside of the bag is some big blue flames and also Hades making his famous like angry face, which is so cute. This bag also comes with a matching wallet. The matching wallet is so fun. It's got Hades giving his flames thumb up, which is like one of my most favorite things that Hades does. And then there's a little emblem next to him where he's watching Hercules fight the Hydra. On the back, there's pain and panic. And then there are the three witches, which is, oh my gosh, you just never see them in merchandise. How cool is that? I know you guys who are big Hercules fans are going to love this. What a cool set. Oh my gosh, I love that they're coming out with more Villains merch. It's definitely, definitely needed. Next bag that I'm gonna be talking about is a Hocus Pocus Sanderson Sisters mini backpack. So you have these Sanderson Sisters who look very stylized on the front of this bag. It looks like Sarah Sanderson actually is the front pocket. So it looks like she protrudes a little bit in front of her other two sisters. And then there's Thackeray Binks kind of behind the two at the very top, which is really fun. It has gold hardware. And then also on the back of the bag, it says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. And there are kind of all over uh, the bag, there are details of little stars and little triangles and different shapes and things, which is fun. And the lining is also the Sanderson sisters along with some cauldron and also a candle. And there's a matching wallet that's the Sanderson sisters that has that same lining. 
It is another snap together uh, vertical wallet that where you can place your money in vertically. And I love the stylization of this card holder. The card holder is the Hocus Pocus Binks candle holder, and it looks like the flame is actually black glitter, which is really fun. It's got a 31 on the front of it, and it's got a completely different lining. Zachary Binks on it. It also has the vacuum and two brooms, and then it says the Black Cat's Curse. It is such a cool little card holder. What a fun Halloween detail. I love the design of that candle card holder. We're gonna move on to the next Hocus Pocus bag. The, this is the all over print Hocus Pocus scene crossbody, faux leather crossbody. I love how this bag looks. I like that there's like little triangles out on the side that protrude out so you can open it and it will open really wide. It's a great detail. It's got so many characters represented. Basically, I think almost every single character represented in this film that are like the main characters, which is really fun. And the crossbody straps do detach and it does have a silver handle. Now, I don't know if that is going to be just like a faux leather metallic or if that's gonna be metal, it doesn't really say. And the lining is just black with clouds and stars. And then we have a really nice Hocus Pocus scene all over print zip around wallet. It's the horizontal large style wallet. The inside lining is exactly the same. And then look how cute that Thackeray Binks cutout is on that ID. I love that. And then of course, we also have a mini backpack. So here is the mini backpack, same all over print. Love the, that it has a large front pocket. It does not look like it has side pockets though, something to keep in mind. So we're gonna move right along to another all over print bag. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween crossbody bag. Now what's really fun about this all over print is that it's got lock, shock, and barrel. It's got the mayor, it's got zero, it's got Jack and Sally, and then it also has the Harlequin demon, which is really cool. And then that kind of repeats itself. And I love, there's a little flap that comes across the front of the crossbody that has a really cool bow. And then it's got Jack Skellington's face on on it. it has that really pretty like dark black metallic hardware on it which we love and then the inside lining is actually um, outlines of zero in different poses and then stars so cute and then it also comes with a zip around wallet that is of the same print and it is the large horizontal style wallet such a pretty an interesting design. I love this design. And then it's got tag on the back is actually plain black, but it does have an embroidered detail or maybe a printed detail of zero, which is such a cute, um, such a cute image of him. He's like looking back over his shoulder with his little pumpkin nose. We love that. Now, this is the one that I was saying looks very similar to the animation style of the castle collection. So we've got the Nightmare Before Christmas Simply Meant to Be mini backpack. Oh, the colors and also the stylization of this bag is so gorgeous. So we've got Jack and Sally and it looks like they're almost dancing in the pumpkin patch on the front and Zero is right next to them. I love all the rich colors of this bag. The oranges and the teals and the pinks and the magentas. It's so stunning. It really, really is. And then the lining is very similar with the image of Jack and Sally dancing and also Zero. And then on the back of the bag, they're on that like kind of squirrely mountain. And then Zero is in the fourth front of the bag. So, so cute. I love the coloration of this bag. And then also here is the Simply Meant to Be crossbody bag. It's got the same image as on the front of the backpack on the front of the bag. And then on the back, it's got zero and in a frozen pumpkin patch or what it looks like a frozen pumpkin patch. It's got uh, handles on the bag and then also it looks like the crossbody straps are detachable. Another horizontal wallet with a vertical orientation that is a, is a snap wallet. This wallet has the image on the back of the back, the one from the back of the backpack with the swirly mountain and Jack and Sally on top and then the back is zero in a pumpkin patch. 
Oh, such a beautiful, such a beautiful bag. You, you liking these stylized versions of the characters. I personally don't love seeing my favorites in them, but I'm making an exception for the castle bag because it's so beautiful. But I do have a lot of appreciation for that last nightmare before Christmas bag. It is really beautiful. We're going to move on to the next bag. This is the uh, Disney Nightmare Before Christmas Headless Jack Skellington Mini Backpack. And it really truly is headless. So it looks like the front of Jack Skellington's body and it looks like he is holding his little skeleton head. And what I love about this is that head is actually your front pocket, which is very clever. It also has his bow that's protruding out from the mini backpack. Silver hardware, such a striking looking bag. I love the, I love black and white bags. They're some of my favorites, Scary Teddy is actually my all-time most favorite mini backpack. And then the lining is jack-o'-lanterns, spiders, swirls, bats, and also some stars mixed in. And then here's Jack Skellington's suit accordion wallet. So the accordion wallets, they open up and there's completely accordion style. So you can fit like 30 cards in there. It seems like you can fit so many cards. It is a really fun, different variation of a wallet. It's definitely not my favorite design because I prefer to have a place where my ID goes and then I prefer to be able to see my cards a little bit easier than in an accordion wallet. But it does have the bow tie like it does on the front of the bag. Super interesting design. Oh, this next bag is really fun. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie Boogie Wheel Mini Backpack. It is perfect for the Oogie Boogie Bash. It has Oogie Boogie's wheel, and then there is Sandy Claus and Jack and Sally, and also Oogie kind of standing over the wheel, kind of looking over it. It looks like the wheel is actually going to be your front pocket on this mini backpack, and then I love that the zipper pull is dice. I think that is such a cute detail. It's got some really fun purple elements on the straps that connect the backpack straps to the actual bag itself. It looks like it's a purple chain that's printed onto like a black ribbon. Such a fun detail. And then it does glow under black light. So this bag will be really pretty if you go to like a Halloween party. And then it does have a matching wallet that is zip around. One side features Sandy Claus and Oogie Boogie and the other side features Jack and Sally. And I'm sorry, I didn't detail the lining. The lining is actually all of those really creepy bugs that come out of Oogie Boogie, which is such a cool idea. I love that they did that. And then the inside on the on the coin purse side, there's all of these little emblems that kind of represent all of the different uh, emblems on the wheel. So there's a lot of really cool details that go along with this set. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, we're moving on to the 20th anniversary of Monsters Incorporated. Can you believe it's been 20 years since that movie came out? Oh my gosh, that's insane. So we have the Pixar Mon Monsters Inc. Boo Mike and Sully cosplay mini backpack. So this is such a fun style of bag. This is similar to the Three Caballeros style bag if you've seen that before. So you've got the main wall, the the main portion of the backpack is Boo. Then you have Sully that is another large pocket and then a smaller pocket on the very front is Mike Wazowski. On the back of the bag, it says we scare because we care. And then it's got the little daisies that are similar to Boo's door on each side. The lining is so cute. It's actually Sully's spots in the background. And then it says 20 years and the zero is actually Mike Wazowski's eye. And it says 20 years. And then it has 2001 through 2021 listed underneath it. Ah! So this next item is so fun. This is the door crossbody bag. I, 
I love this bag. This bag is coming home with me. <laughs> it is six inches by 10 inches by three inches because I know it's kind of hard to tell like actually how big that um, crossbody is. So just to put that into perspective, it's the same height as a mini backpack. So it's actually fairly large. So this is a faux leather crossbody bag. It has metal, uh, metal crossbody strap and then a faux leather detail on the shoulder. It has booze door on one side and then there is a Randall Boggs peeping around the other. But as you open the flap on the front of the door, inside is Mike and Sully. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can't even handle it. And they look so adorable. I love this animation style that they did in this. It is just too cute. And then they also have a zip around wallet that matches this. It's got booze door and then when you open it, it also has Mike and Sully, but in a different position than the crossbody, which is super duper fun. It does have a uh, clasp with a snap on it. I love this. What a fun way to celebrate Monsters 20 years. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, this would be so cute to get a picture of in front of Booze Door in Disneyland. And then we are moving on to a Pokemon release. So here's the Pokemon release. This is the Sepia Pikachu mini backpack. How cute is this? So this is faux leather and it also has a faux suede trim, which sounds really lovely. Uh, this is Pikachu in like a little field of flowers on the front of the mini backpack and then on the back he's got like a little light bulb above his head it's got a really beautiful zipper pole that is like fringe I mean this is like the most classy Pokemon bag I've ever seen it also has a matching crossbody with the sepia Pikachu crossbody bag it does have a really nice suede strap that looks like it is detachable and it has that same fringe that comes off off that zipper pull the hardware is in gold and then it also has another matching card holder wallet that is a horizontal orientation and then you open it up and it is a vertical orientation where you can place your cash in vertically what a what a really beautiful design for Pokemon Oh my gosh, what a fun release video that was. There were so many amazing bags, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. You'll have to let me know down below, which are your top three bags from this video? I've got to know. I think if I were to rank them, I would definitely say the Little Mermaid is my number one favorite. I am, I mean, the whole collection for me is number one. I'm going to give it to the Crossbody Nightmare Before Christmas Simply Meant to Be bag. I just think it's so pretty. And then my third choice is definitely that Mickey O'Lantern Crossbody bag. It's so so cute. Again, everything is going to be listed down below for you to find if you are interested in purchasing. If you enjoyed this, give me a hashtag what's new crew down in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for being here. And I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel and become part of our cherry blossom family. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN!